the Axis of Stevel Show would like to apologize to the following people who were probably offended by last week's broadcast. We are deeply sorry. We did not intend to offend you, but if we did, here's your apology. All right, people. You know what time of the show it is. We do this every week. We apologize to the people we offended last week. Got the list. I hold it in my nicotine stained fingers. These are the people who were offended by last week's show. We are sincerely sorry to people who like sporks, people who lick coins. Yes, I said people who lick coins. Muslims, Jews, anyone who celebrates Kwanzaa, fat white old people, people who believe their children's toys will determine their religious preferences, Glenn Beck, environmentalists, leftists, liberals, progressives, socialists, Marxists, and indecisive people. That's it with the list. But I did get the following email. Dear Axis of Steve Show, last week in one of your segments, you made fun of the inventor of the spork. You made fun of him because he was an indecisive person. It is not a bad thing to be an indecisive person. You should indeed be a little bit more understanding of indecisive people. They are just a little different from you. They are not so ready and willing to commit. Perhaps you should learn a bit from them. You were ready and willing to commit to George Bush, which resulted in the failed policies of the last eight years. Perhaps the inventor of the spork, in his indecisiveness, was the type of man who would push for hope and change. Yes, it is true. Indecisiveness is not always a bad thing. Sincerely, Barack Hussein Obama, P.S. Yes, no, we're present. I can't decide. Barack Obama, indecisiveness is a bad thing when you're in a position of power. You haven't been so indecisive with your selections, though. Fortunately, well, for me, not for you, because I hear Rombo's off trying to sell a Senate seat, maybe. But that's all right. That's your problem to deal with. I'm going to deal with it later on the show. But as for now, I'm simply apologizing to the people who I offended last week. And Barack Obama. We will add you to the list of people who were offended. To all of those who were offended by the Anxious and Steve Show last week, I, your host, Steve Perry, sincerely apologize. I am sorry.